I'm Felita Harris, and this is how I made it. I believe in doing what you're good at and focusing on your strengths. And that belief led me down uh, a career in fashion. My family, uh, they thought I had lost my mind. Um, I come from a traditional family and uh, also being in, from the South, having a traditional um, course of education would have been expected. But Neiman Marcus had a management training program. I enrolled, I was accepted. And that was a huge uh, achievement for me because it validated that I could actually carve out a serious career in fashion. Now, I will never forget this man, John Williams, who was my manager at the time. And my first day, you know, as an assistant manager, I thought you walk in and you start giving out orders. You know, you know I'm an assistant manager, I'm gonna tell you what to do. And he said, well, the first thing we're gonna do is go to the shipping department we're gonna meet everyone in shipping. And I, I thought, well, why? Like, they ship clothes. And he said, let me tell you, in fashion, the people behind the scenes are gonna help you more than people in front of the scene. So you need to know people's name in, from shipping to alterations, everywhere, gift wrap. You need to go and make yourself known and be nice to these people because they're gonna make it happen when you, know, you need it. Last year, in October, I was approached by an Italian brand, Piazza Simpione, uh, to become the president of Wholesale for North America. And that was, I mean, you know, you could have just pulled up in a Rolls Royce and handed me the keys. I thought that was, like, amazing. Especially being a young, a young woman in this industry, that was a huge, huge accomplishment. So I left, um, and I quickly realized that I, I, the, the years that I spent at Donna, I was really building not only a career, a resume, uh, or experiences, I was building a home. As I open up the door to my office until the, you know, when I go home at night and I'm opening up the door to my apartment, it's seamless. It's, I'm going from one home to the other. So I miss that. I missed uh, going home and just wanting to give more. I'm not honoring myself. I'm, I'm doing something incredibly important, but I'm not happy. Uh, and I had to do something about that. Luckily, the president of Donna Karen never stopped calling me. So from the moment I left Donna, she would call every day, Fifi, yes, Carol, are you happy? I am so happy. This is like an amazing job because I didn't want them to, to know that I wasn't happy. Um, and finally, she caught me on a day that I said, I'm not happy and we need to meet. Um, so we met for dinner and of course it was, they missed me as much as I missed them. And I think uh, the loss was definitely experienced on both sides. And I wasn't too um, egotistic to accept that. I was thank God, uh, humble enough to say I made a mistake and I want to come home. It was really difficult to tell uh, the CEO of Piazza Simbione, a huge brand, that I can't stay, I, ha I have to go home to Donna Karen. That was really difficult. Um, I value my, my word. I definitely took that job with the intention of staying for five years. Uh, but at the same time, I had to honor myself. I had to not only think about um, the job, the company, or the title, I had to think about peace. Prior to leaving Donna to join Piazza Simbione, I had experience at working in the Milan showroom. Uh, and I said, you know, I want more of the international piece of the business. I'd like to be senior vice president of global wholesale. And, and she said, wow, okay. Like, did I just hear that? She said, that's it? She's like, absolutely. So, uh, you know, in that moment I learned to, you have what you say, 
you know, you how you view yourself is probably how it is because, you know, no one should see you more um, authentic than yourself. The advice I would give to someone wanting any opportunity is to believe that you will not let yourself down. You have to believe that. You have to look at yourself in the mirror every day and say, I'm a winner. I can do this. I will not fail myself. I'm worth it. I'm worthy. And on days when I may not feel like I am, uh, you have to have your faith in check to carry you through. I think this happens to a lot of young people in, in the industry. You're a appreciative for the job, but you're not really paying 100% attention to every detail because you're waiting for the next opportunity. So what I've learned is to be comfortable, grateful, and thankful for the moment because then you'll learn everything you need to learn for the next step. I'm really proud that I didn't give up. I'm really proud that I trusted that small voice inside of me that said, try, just try it. Um, I'm proud that I go beyond the word no. That no for me is one step closer to yes.